is my wallet. I just finished making it, so I haven't put any inserts yet, but I'm really excited to show it off because I made it. Um, I fashioned it after some of the Filofax pockets that I had seen on YouTube, so I've never had one in my hand, only watched the YouTube videos. Um, so hopefully this is gonna work for a wallet. Now this is crochet that I had made, and it's sewn down, so it's a little loose in some places, but it's sewed I just did some lines across to make sure that it wasn't going to be completely loose. And I like the way the border ended up, so I wanted to keep that intact. And that helped when I was sewing the seams here. Um, I top stitched it, and I probably shouldn't have. I might be able to take that out, and it will still work. But um, that's the only thing that I'm not too keen on, but it'll work. It'll do what I need it to do. It just looks a little funny. And then the bottom. sides and the back. And it's just more of the crochet. Okay, and this, this is just a magnetic clasp that I found. Okay, and I got this binder from Amazon. It was like six dollars and thirty cents free shipping with the Prime and I didn't need to buy anything else up to twenty five dollars so with the Prime it was a really good deal. Um, I'm testing out pockets. I have these baseball card things. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just a little baseball card. They're a little too flimsy for what I want to use. But we'll see what I can do with it. Okay. And I just printed on some cardstock. I printed the grids. I don't know. Just a little tiny 0.1 inch grids using Excel and my calendar. December. I'm not done decorating that. And then just a bunch more pages that I'll be doing things with. And this is just the sleeve that I slide the, the binder in. And then I made this zipper. And I noticed that on the Filofaxes they were tight. But there was one that had this little bit on it. It's not elastic, but at least it opens up. And I can put my hands in there and get any change out that I need to. Um, Next time I'll only do one pen loop because I can't close it if I put two in there. But this is where the money wallet is. And it doesn't go all the way down. It only goes about mm, four and a half inches. So, and there's no seam on the bottom. I just did a funky fold. It worked out really well. And I'm not quite done. I still have to hand stitch that closed. Too excited. Too excited to use it. All right. And so that is my homemade pocket planner that I'm going to be using as my wallet. I just need to figure out how to do things for my cards. But I think I got a good start here. Alright, thank you.